Hi, it's Jason Logan again. We're here with Steve Merrill, covers expert. He's got his weekly MLB power rankings. Steve, we're going into week 10 here of the MLB season. It's actually kind of hard to think that season's flying right by. Who's the number one team this week? Again, the Chicago Cubs, Jason. They've been number one for all 10 weeks and deservedly so now 39 and 16 on the season. You know, they had a couple back-to-back -back losing weeks, but since then, uh, they've gone 10 and three the last two weeks to reaffirm that solid number one spot. Mm -hmm. uh, who's the team on the rise this week? A couple teams, the biggest risers both came from the same division. They're both playing each other at the beginning of this week. Texas went up five spots after five out of six wins against Cleveland and Seattle. Very impressive last week. But the biggest riser up uh, seven spots the Houston Astros, you know, who really started the season slow. Uh, one of the biggest underachievers for the beginning of the season, uh, but they've been going on quite a run. They're still two games below 500 overall this year, uh, but they've been playing excellent baseball, 11 and two their last 13. They've allowed three runs or less in eight of those last 13 games. Nice, nice. And, and Texas right now is the top money team in MLB betting, almost at, uh, at about 18 units on the season. So uh, they've been either a short favorite or an underdog uh, over the last 10 games. And don't forget also, Jason, they got you Darvish back after almost two years off Tommy John surgery. Mm -hmm. He's looked really sharp in his first two starts. That's right, and another, another great weapon for them. Uh, who made the biggest fall this week down the power rankings? Kansas City fell five spots, but they've got four starters out with injury, so they're really due to fall. And that's why I kind of took a preemptive fall with them. I just think they're going to underachieve here for the near future. But the biggest fall are seven spots, same division, or actually six spots down, the Chicago White Sox. You know, I've said it a few times, after starting the season 22-10, and 10, they were a phony team. They've now gone 7-18 and 18 their last 25 games since. Yeah, and uh, who's a team that uh, better should be looking out for here as we hit Week 10? Well, a team I've touched on a few times here on the video, you know, uh, update each week is the Philadelphia Phillies. They were on a 25-15 and 15 run over 40 games, and since then, they've gone 3-10 and 10 the last two weeks. They have the Cubs and the Nationals this week, uh, so they could very well be on a 3-16 and 16 run when we talk next week. Yeah, that's tough. And don't let the Blue Jays jersey fool you. I'm actually a Phillies fan, so those sting. And I know that's why I bring it up, because the first week we had the Philly jersey <laughs> on, so I, I keep them in the back of my mind for you. <laughs> Great. Throw a little salt in the wound, why don't you? That's a Steve Merrill Covers Experts. Uh, you can check out all his plays and subscriptions on Covers Experts, and follow him on Twitter, at Steve Merrill. Steve, thanks a lot. Thanks, Jason. All right, and make sure to check out all those baseball betting news and notes. Follow us on Twitter, at Covers.